coming up. Where is the dog? It's Garnet, cremated. The shelter had the dog. The dog. The shelter put the dog to sleep. Let, do you me, understand? Just, let me say I, this to you, sir. How, do you understand? Do you want to go to jail today? It's going to be that way no matter what. I'm paying half of my rent. Okay. I'm losing. I lost a dog that I wanted. I'm going to lose my dog anyways. You might as well just. You don't curse in this courtroom. Head adoption agent Anthony Brown is suing hot-tempered Mitch Collins in the amount of $610. Mr. Brown claims Mr. Collins never paid him for the dog he adopted. Mr. Collins claims the dog was accidentally put down after a case of mistaken identity and says he shouldn't have to pay the plaintiff since he no longer has the dog. Okay, Mr. Brown, you're suing Mr. Collins for $610? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, these are costs associated with a dog, is that right? Yes, the dog it's you a sold pet him? adoption uh, fees. Yes. Okay, so you run a pet adoption agency? Yes, I run an agency I call Pet Recyclers. Okay, you have a license for this? Uh, uh, no, I don't, don't own a, uh, run an animal shelter, Your Honor, per se. What, what I do, are you running? Uh, I, what is, I go to animal shelters All and right. I find dogs that uh, I believe personal, they have good personalities okay. and I'd be able to find homes for them. Okay, so what's your relationship here? Well, I, uh, I was adopting a dog from him, okay. from the shelter that he is. Were you adopting from his shelter? Yes. Okay, what was your process? Uh, the first is I asked him for two references. Okay. He gave me uh, Earl, I believe is his brother, er er and uh, Earl Collins is his Well, what do you think his brother Earl gonna say? Why, well, Mitch is a great guy. Okay, uh, who was the other one, his the girlfriend other was, or his mom? The other, yeah, the other uh, reference he gave me was his girlfriend. Okay, so you accepted these references? Uh, you, yes, before I release a dog, I have someone, I have them come out to my property. Right. I don't just hand a dog over. Yeah, but do you um, go to their property to see where the dog is going? Uh, and, uh, Your Honor, I asked for them to take some uh, pictures of where they live right. so I can see what kind of facilities right. they have, if they have some Maybe you with, shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Uh, because you don't sound like a person is really caring for the welfare of these animals. Coming up. Where is the dog? It's Your cremated. Honor, the shelter had the dog. The dog. The shelter put the dog to sleep, and that was how it Why was Why did the shelter put me. the dog to sleep? Because they thought it was my dog. And later. Did you see the construction work going on next door? Uh -huh. I seen some of his workers outside drinking beer. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Anthony Brown, who is suing Mitch Collins for $610 for a pet adoption fee. So well, why are we here anyway? Uh, what happened was Mr. Collins ad adopted the dog. He lied to me about why he wanted the dog. And then he used the dog basically to stand in for his own dog uh -huh. that was ordered to be put to death by a court here in, in Florida. Okay, so you had a dog that was ordered put down? Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, um... Unfortunately, I got into a little bit of a confrontation with my neighbor, and his mm -hmm. dog mm -hmm. came at me, and my dog bit his dog to defend me. Mm -hmm. And so then there was a court order to put the dog down? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You didn't you know, check with the sheriff's office to see if maybe this guy had any outstanding warrants or complaints or uh, citations no. involving no, Honor, I, animals? I don't run criminal background checks. Yeah, so but what are you cost. doing? What favor and are you doing? Can I tell you that the pound does more of an investigation than you do? Why are we here uh, today? Uh, we're here because uh, he took the dog from me. Right. Uh, and How much I, did he pay you? He had, didn't pay me anything. Why don't you uh, pay him for the dog? Because he has, for, first off, he has a clear policy saying that if you return the dog in 30 days. Oh, you returned the dog. He did not dog. return the dog, Your That's Honor. not my point. What I'm trying to say is that I never, I don't have Let the me, dog. Let me, this is real cl clear. Where is the dog? It's Your cremated. Honor, the shelter had the dog, the dog, the shelter put the dog to sleep. And that was how it Why was returned Why did the shelter put me. the dog to sleep? Because they thought it was my dog. I don't understand how that happened. When, when, <laughs> animal, when well, animal control puts out a kill order on a dog, they take that dog is already in animal control custody. They wouldn't have made that mistake. That doesn't make any sense to me. Where's the dog? At my house. Six hundred and ten dollars. Six hundred and ten dollars. No, no, that's not right. You, you know what you can do. You under, do, you, do you understand where I'm coming from right just, now, Your let, Honor? Let do you me understand? Just, let me say I, this to you, sir. How, do you understand? Do you want to go to jail today? Because you, you are. You know what? It's going to be that way no matter what. I'm paying half of my rent. Okay. I'm losing. I lost a dog that I wanted. I'm going to lose my dog anyways. You might as well just on me. Let me tell you something. Right now, 
I don't play that in here. Well, I don't play Excuse games Excuse me. Let me stop you. You don't curse in this courtroom. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. So, Mr. Collins, my bailiff told me you figured out what side of the bridge your butt is on. Yes. Um, you know, I just I want to apologize. Um, I hope you understand, Your Honor. I didn't mean to outburst like that, but the, this dog is the only thing I got. You and still got him. Not for long. Uh, he's going to have to go down anyway. Okay, well, dog. another dog already took a bullet for him. Yes, right? Sure. What about that poor innocent dog who didn't bite anybody? Where is the money? I got it in my pocket. Okay, let me have it. $610. Thank you, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, and I've made I, a call about you already, too. Yes, sure. Uh, you need a license. You might find a sheriff at your house by the time you get home today. Your Honor, I, did, I didn't think anyone could do something like this. I just wanted to help these animals. Right. And well, you're doing I'm, more harm than good. Uh, I believe. Thank sorry. you. Give it to the plaintiff. All right, judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $610. Good luck to you all. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $610. Look, man, as upset as I am over my dog, I just want to say that I'm sorry that what happened to yours. I don't accept your apology. It won't bring back an innocent dog. Homeowner Samantha Aguilar is suing contractor Richard Azarian in the amount of $1,500. Ms. Aguilar says she hired Mr. Azarian to remodel her kitchen, but claims the job took a week longer because the defendant's workers drank on the job and slacked off most days. Mr. Azarian denies Ms. Aguilar's allegations about his employees and claims the remodeling job took longer than anticipated because Ms. Aguilar ordered the wrong size materials for her kitchen. All right, Ms. Aguilar, Ms. Azarian, I've read your pleadings and you're suing for $1,500 for a kitchen remodel, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and you're a contractor? Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. Okay, and how long have you been a contractor? I've been a contractor for over 10 years. Okay, so. and so what do you do? Interior? remodels or yeah remodels we do build it from the scratch like uh, okay. all from the ground up okay much, yeah. so how'd you meet this man so I'm a director of finance for a logistics company and he was referred to me by one of my co-workers okay and so what is it that you wanted him to do so pretty much I had just bought a new home I just got a divorce and I was so excited to get the kitchen remodeled we needed a little work done and right. so um, what was he gonna do well you know there was this really nice island that I had seen do, in wait is there a contract there is a contract let me see the contract what were you contracted to do to uh, basically do the installation of all the the kitchen cabinets, right. the countertops. Right. So she had already purchased all of those and got them measured. Right. And then I So was, you were just coming in to install cabinets. Had the cabinets already been removed? That we actually removed ourselves. So you were going to remove the cabinets, install the cabinets. You were going to yes. install the countertop? Correct. Was this a granite countertop? Corian, what was that? He actually didn't do the cabinets. I hired someone else to do the cabinets. Okay, so what did he do? No, we were hired to install the cabinets, but she actually purchased them from a different vendor. With well, I understood that. Did I'm sorry. I, he okay, so you just said the same thing I said then? That Pretty much He fine. installed yes. the cabinets? Yes, Your Honor. And were you to install the countertops? Yes, we were hired to do that as well. Were you going to do anything with the floors? No, none of the floors were... Was there any a, electrical rewiring? No, actually. Any plumbing that was changing? No, we usually run into those issues, but in this right. case, we no didn't. No taking down plaster drywall and re-drywalling, putting up anything like that? There was that? some of that, some drywall removal just to... Okay, and how much was the job? The total was for $8,400 in our original contract. Okay, $8,400. And how much did you pay him? I paid him originally the $8,400. Okay. But him and his crew were harassing me and wanting me to pay an additional $1,500 because they took an extra week to complete the job. Right. Did you take an extra week to complete the job? Well, yes, we did. But the reason for that is because <laughs> there were some delays due to her uh, hiring a different company to do the measurements for the cabinets right. and all. So we had But I would think that all of that had been done before you came into the project. No, they this all started around the same time, so we had right. nothing to do with the the measurement of the actual cabinets and countertops. Right. So we asked her So you come in and you do what? 
So basically take all the materials that she ordered right. through another company and install them, make sure everything's in place. When you started the project, was all uh, were all the materials there? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so why was there a delay? So because the measurements, like once we started putting everything together, right. the, each they, part of the... They weren't measured properly. Correct. Is each, that right, ma'am? Yes, they were not. It, that was my mistake because okay. I did hire... That's a big deal right there. It is. It is. And I wish that he would have told me sooner instead of waiting until the third week. And I heard his crew was in my backyard drinking beer. Did you see them drinking beer in your backyard? I have a witness, right. my neighbor, who actually did see and took pictures. They're th right there with okay, you. Okay, but what I'm trying to understand is so he took a little bit longer because the measurements... Were, I'm doing a renovation myself, so I know how these change orders are. And nothing is ever on time. Coming up. Did you see the construction work going on next door? Uh -huh. I seen some of his workers outside drinking beer. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Samantha Aguilar, who is suing Richard Azarian for breach of contract. So when you come in, when these contractors come in and you change something like the measurements of the cabinet, if the measurements are off, that means the cabinets need to go back and they have to be recut. Is that right? Correct, and that's Your where Honor. he was at fault because he d I did not sign a change order. There was right. no change order It signed. had to change because the cabinets didn't fit. Right. And it, that doesn't just turn around in a couple of days. But the change order included the extra price of the 1500 I was fine with the change Every changes. time there is a change, you get charged for the change. So how long did it take to get those cabinets back? So we got the new cabinets back on the, around the third week. Right. So they had to re we had to remeasure and send them the measurements. Right. I even called. So went what were you doing while you were waiting for the cabinets? Well, Drinking we were on the job. That is not true. There's no. What were you doing? We were continuing with the other into like the drywall and just the little things, minor things everywhere uh -huh. that we had to. Right. Just prepare for the rest of it to uh -huh. come in the cabinet. But if you don't have the cabinets, how much more can you do? Once you get in the gab, I think you're just kind of like sitting around waiting for cabinets to come back, like we've been doing. Right. Just well, waiting and waiting for those cabinets to come back. How long did it right. take the cabinets? I, I think it was just a, a week's project. Uh huh. It was took another week. Correct. So instead of two to three weeks, it was four to four. Okay, three. because of the problem with the cabinet. So now that's why you're suing because it's additional fifteen hundred dollars because it took more time. Yes, and my problem is that I think it took more time because his crew was in in my pool on my lawn chairs. I have white patio chair that I just purchased for my new home, right. and they're stains. I had to go get them. Did you tell me you had a witness? No. I do. My, okay, let me hear neighbor. from the witness. Who's Her your job witness, ma'am? Stephanie Jackson. Court calls. Stephanie. Stephanie Jackson, come forward and be sworn. Raise your right hand, ma'am. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth of your God? Yes, ma'am. I hear that you're the neighbor to Miss Aguilar. Yes, I am. Okay, and did you see the construction work going on next door? I seen some construction work, but right. at the time I was watching, I live next door to her, and I take care of three kids. Uh -huh. I seen some of his workers outside drinking beer, not doing work. They were just naturally not working at like all. Like how long a period of time would you see this going on? Okay, I would put the baby to bed around maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon, okay. they will still be out there drinking beer. So hours and hours these hours. guys are just sitting outside was, drinking beer? The first time I seen them, it was around 11 o'clock. Uh -huh. It landed from 11 to like around 1.30. Right. How many days did you see this going on? Every single day. Every day they were drinking? Yes. But it looks like your guys were just having fun at this lady's house, like they were on a little vacation. That's not Waiting true, for Honor. these cabinets to come. Because we were also getting different parts, just like little uh, moldings and everything. Yeah, we right. so have gotten the whole parts, all of the parts Look, at one time. In the contract, Article 9 talks about change orders. It was in Correct. here. Yes. And it says that any change orders shall be in writing and signed and dated by both parties. Where is that? Where is the sign and dated it to me. change order? It's in your contract. This is your contract, right? Correct. We don't have a signed Okay, copy, when you were taking those $1,500 from her, you could have gotten it signed. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. 
I'm going to construe the language of your contract against you. It's in your contract that it shall be in writing and signed by both parties, number one. But if number I can't two, get a I have a neighbor that says that most of the time, you know, guys, even though they did a great job in the end, all that time they spent hanging around the pool and drinking beer, they could have used that time to uh, finish up this job in time. You shouldn't have charged this lady any extra money. Well, without the materials. I'm ready to rule, Justin, for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,500. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $1,500. I'm happy with the ruling because I got my $1,500 back and I have a beautiful kitchen now. I feel robbed because my crew worked extra hard to make sure this project was done smoothly, but I feel ripped off, man.